same time. That's, that's, that's the whole because, Christian because, theology. So, so did because, he? So, so look, look, look. Because because it's in Do you understand? I understand. Because I understand. Time, time, so that's the reason. Why, okay. So I know the reason. If it's out of time, you said. That's like saying the all knowledgeable God who doesn't know everything can put aside his attributes, and the reason being is because he wants to save you. I tell you why. Let me finish. Okay, 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 how many times you? Two minutes and I let you. No, 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 no. You need to be. You're, you're telling me that I'm interrupting you all the time. No you're doing it to me now. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm saying to you is, it's clear. God is known by attributes. Yeah. That's how we know what God is and what God is not. God's attributes. God's attributes. Before you read the Quran, before you read the Bible, before you read the Bhagavad Gita, before you read any of these scriptures, innate, naturally, ingrained on your heart that there is one supreme deity and this supreme deity has perfect attributes. He has all knowledge, all power. Now you have a book written by unknown scribes, by your own confession. Unknown scribes. This is why I mentioned the thing about the unknown scribes. You said for us it's not important. I said this is why. Because your unknown scribes are the ones that are telling you that this God that knows everything all the time that doesn't change, he became a man that doesn't know everything. Okay. And it's those I, and it's those very now? unknown scribes. Can so can you see now? Can I reply? Can, I, can you see now why this idea about the unknown scribes is important? Okay, no, it's not important. Okay, I reply and I explain maybe differently. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So when God created the universe, so we Christians, we believe this world will be destroyed by fire, okay? by maybe an asteroid. So think about it this way. God created everything and the asteroid that will destroy the earth is already in motion. Okay, it's not destroyed. But at the same time, human beings, we have choice, we have free will. Okay, so that's what I was trying to explain to you. If the time of the impact of the destruction was fixed, if it was fixed, it would mean you have no choice. So, so it's been that, it would mean that you have no choice. But since we have a choice, the particular time is not fixed. If you have to quantify it, it would be like an irrational number, irrational, which means infinite digits. So that gave us human beings the ability to, 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 uh, to change. And I gave you this example of Lot. So when God was destroying Sodom and Gomorrah, the time of destruction was not fixed because if it was fixed, it would not allow lots to, to, to get away and to, to discuss, right? Not say, can I move away? Can I do this? So which means God, the, the time is not fixed. You still have one second, one few seconds to change. And this is part of the mercy of God. And this is what this nature is about. So the nature of God, uh, manifested, manifested in, in Jesus Christ. So sure it's the know. word of God who took on flesh. And yes, it is perfectly logical to, for Jesus Christ to say he doesn't know the hour because it would be, it would not, not make sense if you are on earth to say that. Because you will contradict the free will of people. Okay. Okay? People have free will. If I say I know what you're going to do, if Jesus had said that, he would say you don't have free will because either he commanded you to do that or you don't have free will. So that's why he said only the Father knows because, because the Father is out of time. When you are in time, I understand. I understand. that you, you cannot know these things. And you know, uh, we, can, we can move in circle I understand. The thing and is, I will come the thing back is, to the same the, the So that's, is, that's, that's the explanation. So okay? really and truly, you haven't actually explained it. You've, given a, you've, you've offered your answer, but it doesn't really answer the question. Let me just say, no, the, the God the Father, does he know if we're gonna, uh, what we're going to do or not? Did he know that Lot was going to go that bit further and take his family about? Did God know it? If God knows that. Did God know it? Okay. The Father, which out of time? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, no, no. When we say out of time again, this is no, 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 this is critical in Christian finish. belief. Let me finish. Because it's not time just, and out of time. It's not about time and out of time. Yeah, because because, because in our no, no, belief, no, no, no. there's many. There's the many. word of God. When Jesus said, "Who touched became me?" Flesh. When Jesus said, "Who touched me?" Yeah. When Jesus it was a rhetorical question. The rhetorical. So, you, so, so, so where does it say that in the text? Why do you say that is not? Because it, the language, when you look at language, the first case of, of language is that it's taken as apparent. Now, if you, this, this is the basis of any type of language. When if you say, who touched me, you can, I think there's two passages in, in the gospel where it's talking about hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's a rhetorical question. So, when, so that so the woman has to come in no, front of him. No, that's exactly that, what that, happened. That's your belief. You that's your belief. That's your belief. We as a Christian, why do you tell me 
me how I need to believe. No, no, that's fine. You say what I mean? That's fine. You, 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 you read the text no, 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 and you don't you're understand. Speaking to me. You're speaking to me. And you, you, you're you want to, to teach me how I need to believe. You're, you're, you're speaking to me. Okay, we as a Christian, this is what we believe. It was a rhetorical like, question. Okay. That's what the rhetorical believe. question, so, so that the Hang woman on. comes Hang and on. then And what's your evidence for that? This is this is why the problem is, yeah? Because when we're we're not telling you 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 what you what to believe. I'm just saying substantiate your belief. Substantiate it. Don't just say it's a rhetorical question. Just so, I'm okay, asking you. I'm asking you. So, okay, so, 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 so look, yeah. This whole premise it comes down to we worship a God that knows everything all the time. You worship a God that put His attributes aside. We came in time. He came, he came in time, and but God doesn't change. But he left his attributes aside. His attributes are eternal. It is a change. It is a change. But coming from if you cover your head with something, you don't see. You don't see. Prior to coming to earth, prior to coming to earth, you don't see everything. Prior to coming to earth, in your belief, prior to coming to earth, did he know everything? Yes, sir. Which is the ancestral moment of the Lord. Okay. 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 Okay.
but okay. we don't believe that chain exists. So, something which is infinite can have a part which is finite. No, we said we don't believe in that chain. That, we don't believe that chain exists. We believe so, one. So the point, the, the the mistake you guys make, you say God is infinite. We don't say so that. how is it? No, I heard many that. people say God is then, infinite. Then, then, so then why is that? A, why is that? Do with me. A part just, of God just, or whatever just, is I've finite. Just told, I've just told you a finite. problem with that word infinite. It doesn't change I've just told you a problem nature. with that word infinite. That word infinite. God can still be infinite. That word infinite. And his word can come in the finite. That word infinite. It doesn't prevent him from being still infinite. That word okay. infinite so is that's, ambiguous. So that's a question of understanding, and this is what now. we are having. I can see your rattle. That word, is, that word infinite, it can have a number of wrong connotations. One of them I've explained to you, that it, in, infinite could be a beginning with no end. Let me ask you, if on that definition, which is a valid um, meaning of the word infinite, would you say God is infinite like that? That he has a beginning you are with, not with no end? not answering my question, you want me to answer the question? I'm telling you that you're not wording it right. What we would use a better word to describe God is eternal. Okay, no let, beginning, let, no let, end. Let's let give an example for by numbers. Okay, zero to infinite. Okay, that's what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So can yeah. you take can you take a portion of finite in inf in something which is infinite? That like doesn't that? exist in reality. Doesn't exist. That doesn't exist in reality. So when you when, let's say if I if I have to count from zero to infinite, yeah. can I can I take a portion of that which is finite? It doesn't exist. That doesn't that, that okay. chain doesn't exist. <laughs> you know we. That's, we just, that's just a this, this word is, game. This is a pro the problem we are having. People think they understand everything, but the basic mathematic notion they don't even understand. How no, can no, you no, understand no, no, no. God? I'm my friend. My you friend. cannot understand God that's if fine. you don't have the basic me, knowledge me, of the. That's fine. That's fine. So what we say to you? Let me get my keys out and do my. Do you know what we do the phone? So, if I said to you, "This is my God." What would you say to me? I, I never say this is my God. No, 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 I'm not saying if I said to you, this is my God. <laughs> I never say this is my God. No, no. So this is a you, maybe, false maybe you're not hearing. You don't if I say this is my God. That's your God. Would you just well, how are you gonna refute me? I don't have to refute you. Don't you have can no believe evidence. whatever you want to refute. Did not the prophets come with proofs and evidences? You, are, you have so you on have, one side you are entitled to your belief. That's fine. But on one side so we have what we're you? saying is that the prophets came with clear proofs and evidences for mankind to reflect and go back to your creator. On the other side, you're saying you can believe whatever and there's no clear proof. No, we, what so what we believe you, is very clear. So what we say to you is, the infinite God, you be his, your his way, word you be us. came on earth in Jesus Christ. Okay, and he if took I was on to, flesh. And if I was to say- And he was, came on earth for a mission to redeem us from our sin. If you, okay, that yeah, was his mission. If I was to make the same and claim- that was that what I, we believe in. If I was to make okay? the same claim that I'm God as well, how, how what would you say to me? You can believe what there are many people who believe That's they are fine. God here. So you, don't okay? have so you can believe That's what, what, what so you want to believe. So what it is now? Our you, belief is very clear. That's fine. That's okay. fine. But you don't have proofs. The you infinite tell, God. You can't tell the man who the worships another this man that he's wrong. We are not this worshiping a man. We are worshiping God. Okay? Is Jesus not a man? The manifestation of is God Jesus not a man? in flesh. Is Jesus not a man? Let's say me as a Christian. I tell you what. I sometimes I don't like saying I worship Jesus because of this confusion that people bring. The Word of God. Okay. That's what John said. The word of God, who is God. Yes, we worship the word of God. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what we worship. So we don't worship yeah. the man. And if you was to worship, that, that's the reason why yeah. I don't like saying I worship Jesus because people, yeah, and they but don't do. understand. But, but do. we say we worship the word of God. You see, okay? you see, when you to avoid one. to avoid this kind of yeah, but you confusion can't, that that's people why you've create. had all the church councils, the Nicaea, the Nicaea one, the Nicaea two, the Constantinople, the council, all of these different councils. On this issue, how is Jesus God and man? Yeah, because Jesus you is a stumbling it. block for those many people. No, no, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, we block. understand Jesus. That's what it is. Alhamdulillah, we understand Jesus clearly. You and we have the same Jesus. same beliefs as his early disciples, the likes really? of James, that okay. worships in the temple, prayed to the God alone, accepted Jesus as the Messiah, but did not accept teachings of Paul, which is where you get the binatarian, which then later becomes the Trinitarian that you are when today. When did they say, I the Father are one? Where did he say that? In John, I sorry. I the Father are one. In John? Yes. Oh, in John. In Who John, wrote John again? <laughs> okay, we're going to come we back go. again. We're yeah, going to come yeah. back again. We'll leave it as that, So that's friend. not what we'll it is. Anyway, this 